Because, I mean, I've just started The Sopranos, but I would, I would, <laughs> I would easily park it for uh, 14 hours Sir, of conspiracy. I wouldn't watch a 14-hour documentary and the disappearance of my ma. <laughs> Who's making that? <laughs> what was the with candles there? What was the crack there? A candle? Uh, it was It was more of an exfoliating rub. Ah, uh, you know, of course. Which would feel, I would imagine, a hectic. For your velvet shoot. <laughs> just a night of rub. <laughs> Where'd you pull that out? <laughs> the, the velvet shoot. <laughs> the 1820s, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the hiccup cast. This is, you hold your breath and drink. Is that right? Aye. Uh, or I get scared. <laughs> uh, go ahead. <laughs> pull my wee balls out. <laughs> now go ahead. What have you been thinking about? What does your ideal Christmas look like? <laughs> <laughs> and a hot and sour soup? You bougie bitch. Hot and sour soup, which came out of my asshole <laughs> on, that, on that aborted landing the next day. Guys, episode 30? Yeah. Holy shit. 2,000 patrons, 30 episodes. Here we are. How'd you celebrate? I bought myself an omelette pass. I thought you were going to say an omelette. Omni pass? What is that then? Many times I want to go to the pictures. That's it. Ball uh, over control. one period of time. As many as you want. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So you buy an Omni pass and they're like, here you go, bro. 25 quid. You come to the cinema forever. As no, ten, first of all, it's a tenner a month. Uh huh. All right. And then, second off, the only thing you can't do is go see a film twice. But why would you do that? And who would know? Walk, walking you out in cuffs. He's back again. <laughs> twice through Oppenheimer. Twice I've had to hoover that seat to fat I tried to watch that twice and failed. Ah, it's lengthy, bro. No, why didn't you just long. watch it once in two bits? It's too long. Science. Honestly. Too long? Yeah. Too much of fucking Kelly Murphy, just with them gorgeous eyes. Just. He does have sexy eyes. Deep blue pools. Does he have blue eyes? I don't even know. He does, I. Uh, Hates the Brits. Does he? Love it. I isn't he the one that like took his child out of school in England so he wouldn't talk like a Brit? Fair play if he did. I think he did do that. He was the one where, you know, they met fucking Prince Harry and as he walked past he was just like, you know. Yeah. Giving Prince Harry evils. <laughs> Stares and wolf tones. Yeah. <laughs> Stairs, <laughs> stairs in the raft. <laughs> anyway, what are you wearing there, you big fucking agent? Uh, I says you. What? You look like a fucking Capri's Easter egg. <laughs> Not even funny. There was, ten, there was ten things you could have said there. It'd be funny in that. I'm off the cuff. <laughs> and off the lead. <laughs> <laughs> off the lead comedy That's like right. such a fucking 90s comedy night isn't yeah. it Come to off the lead Work Caution a- tape around the mouth Work a- <laughs> He's gonna actually say it <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say it What's he gonna say about the Tory <laughs> uh, I fucking hate it. I've done that thing where I laugh too hard and have a headache now Yeah. Uh, what were you saying I can't mind I lost track I, no, no, This look Yeah Tinky uh, Winky. It's fairly fair. I came back. Tinky Winky. Tinky no, come on, that's too easy. Plus, Mist- Tinky Winky's purple. Mi- well, there's no pink. Your head is purple. Tell, tell, me, tell me. Both heads are purple. No, there is. Dog's dick in you. Cold, sir. <laughs> yeah, there he uh, Mr. Blobby. Uh-huh. That would have worked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, anything at all. Yeah. Pedophile? Pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> if you're here, who's looking after the minions? Look at these <laughs> child gazer glasses he's got on. <laughs> I open it, yeah, fuck it. What are you, what are you on there? The protein milk? Protein milk, bro. It's uh, like drinking a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's on the, everyone's on this fucking space food today. You boys are all on the fucking Huel. Are you just back on the Huel? <laughs> you back on the Huel, lad? <laughs> the Huel? What flavour of Huel are you on? Uh, strawberries. The Hueligans in the, the corner there? Yeah, the Huel. <laughs> Strawberry and what? And what's the other one? Vanilla. Vanilla. Nice. And that's a meal replacement, like that's yeah. Space food. Space food, eh? You boys are in sp- on the space station over there, uh-huh. clogging away, just fucking Logging NASA tapas. Both them pissing in the bags, <laughs> you know, shining into an appy, you know, the whole the whole business. Have you seen that video? Where the the um the astronaut thought forgot that he wasn't in space anymore. No. 
and he just was talking he just let go of something thinking it would just sit there and then he comes back and he's like don't know whether he's taking a piss or not <laughs> like catching what he, he, like if he's in space he can just be like oh let me grab uh, this phone and he just let go of whatever he's holding and, oh, grab it and turn around it's still there but they, he fucking he's, he's on earth now so he's just full of glass of water like <laughs> oh shit you'd think an astronaut would like dive into the youtube thing wouldn't you oh they do it'd be like a vlogger they do space vlogger i've never seen a space vlog ah sure fucking what do you call your man chris or what's his name james hatfield what's his name <laughs> um, i'm in space chris hadfield he was YouTube Space man. Yeah. Aye, Chris Hadfield. He was he was doing a vlog up there. Nice. He was like, "Hey, folks, welcome to Spaceships Live or whatever." Tell me, spaffing into no- zero gravity. <laughs> no, that I would watch. Oh, so would I. Yeah, guy spaffing in space. Zero gravity spaff. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You'd have your eyes closed. You'd be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I'd probably move at the same speed. Yeah. Fair. You'd just be on your side on the roof. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> I, space would be shit, wouldn't it? Fucking absolutely. <laughs> shit. Shit. I barely fit on a fucking Ryanair flight. Never mind a spaceship. No, I'd rather go to Mallorca or somewhere like that. Yeah, for me too. <laughs> <laughs> me to go me to space. Too. You go into the travel agents. They're like, do you want to go to space or Mallorca? <laughs> oh, they they do you dirty too if they had a space package. Like, oh, uh, you better a fucking fortune. Full board on the space station. <laughs> you know. They had free drinks, but you can't even fucking drink up here. I know. Well, it's a fucking a flight to Australia. It's bad enough. Never mind the space. Huh? Flight to space. Mm. I was in London last week. Uh, speaking of shitholes, speaking of shitholes, and uh, <laughs> I had no. The trip was the trip was great. Thanks to everyone. I'll, I'll, I'll reverse tell the story. Okay. Did I tell you boys this? The plane came in on the way home. It was a by the way, no air conditioning on the plane. The woman was like, yesterday we were experiencing a bit of difficulty with the air conditioning. It will kick in once we are in flight, but on the ground right now, it is quite unbearable and we apologise for the heat. Everyone's just sitting there sweating buckets, like roasting on the plane. And then they're like, but well, you know, it'll work once we take off. But sure, it took fucking 50 minutes to get off the goddamn runway in London. Rotten. Stinking. And then we took off, obviously. And I was in that seat. We were like, uh, I'm going to pay for some extra leg room. Do you know how they give you extra leg room, I think? How much? They shorten the seat. How much for it? I don't know, a couple of six pounds or something. <sighs> but they're like, they're like, yeah, you've more leg room because we cut half the seat. Like, you know, you've got like the top half of your ass cheek on a seat and then the rest of it's gone. And then you're like, oh, look at the fucking leg room I have. What do you do now with that extra leg room? Do you, just, <laughs> do you just put your legs straight out? Do you cross them? What do you do? It just means you're not mushing them up against the seat in front of you. Mm. That's all I'm looking for. Yeah. There's, always, there's always like a wee screw or a wee bolt or something. You're just like digging in your knee. Yes. This guy beside me, he's doing a fucking spreadsheet and all. Fuck that life. I took, spreadsheet life? I took a look at him doing spreadsheets on a plane in a rush to get to London or, or home. Or, I was like, bro, fucking. Yeah, I was in that life for a minute. Then we jump out this plane. Mm. But anyway, we come in, we come in to land, Belfast City, floating over the water. Yes. You know, there's, there's a wee bit of wobble. They tell you this? I don't think so. A wee bit of wobble over the water, which, you, you know, you'll expect. It's a bit windy. It's a windy area, mm. you know, down by Ikea there. <laughs> Plane's coming down. Just gets you know it wobbles, it wobbles, and then it gets to like I don't know how high it is, probably like ten meters off the floor, and then it just goes poof, like that. Yeah, this motherfucker like this wobbling all about the place. Wheel touched the ground. He didn't like the feel of it. Hit the fucking gas, and the plane just went, Grrr, and he went back up into the air. Jesus Christ! And I went to the guy beside me. Is that shade on my back? <laughs> I think I diarrhea up my whole back. <laughs> <laughs> Me there with the fucking arms crossed and the AirPods in and all that sus now. Home, home sweet home and just the fucking... You, the fucking you've head. had a few dodgy flights recently. I don't know, what was the other one? Did you not have one like on the way back from... What was the last holiday you were on again? Tenerife. Did you not have a dodgy flight coming back from there as well? Well, just both both landings were like fucking... Like he just <laughs> slapped them down yeah. out of nowhere. But maybe it was just because it was a bigger plane that was full of people. Yeah. But I've never had that before where the guy just is about to land and he's like, nah, I'll take an hour, go at it. And everybody fucking, oh, you know, fucking freaking Yeah, what out. was your reaction like of everyone around yeah, you? Everyone was freaking out. Yeah. But you know what kept me quiet was the guy doing the spreadsheets, obviously back and forth from London all week. Uh-huh. And as it did that thing and then just took off again, he went, ah, fuck's sake. 
because he to him it means another twenty minutes in the in the air. Yeah. So he's just like fucking back yeah. into the, back into the spreadsheet. And I was like, I know, man, I know. Oh, he's ready to die. That's why. Yeah. He's like, I hope this fucking thing goes down. Yeah. Stop looking at these spreadsheets. He's like, I'm going to change this. It wasn't a spreadsheet. Sorry, it was a PowerPoint, which is even oh, worse. Oh, you dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> It was a PowerPoint, <laughs> which is even worse because he, he put a lot of work into it. It had nice graphics and all. Yeah, frozen a wee I was like, fully, fun text. I was fully just, you know, someone's beside you. I was like, oh, nice. I used to fucking love making. a nice making, animated graph, lad. I used to love making PowerPoints. Oh. Oh. Creativity, it's finest. Oh, Jesus. No, I'm, I get to the point where you just go like, next, next, next. You pick a nice wee word art and all. But you, c- let me go back. I'm a, I'm a, Sorry, I'm a yes. on the story, right? You'll appreciate this. Did the gig. Uh-huh. Had a lovely time. Yes. Lovely time. Leicester Square. Woodsy fucking killed. Nice. And here's the thing. I was going over by myself, so I ordered, or I booked a hotel in the Premier Inn, which is a cox length from Leicester Square Theatre, mm-hmm. across the street, like. And uh, then Woodsy decided, was coming with me sort of last minute, so I was like, you take the Premier Inn. I'll get another room. So I booked another room around the corner. My room? Shithole. Looked fancy. Had all the ornaments in it and shit. Uh, that's how they get you. They had, a, they had a pink rabbit in there, that fucking <laughs> stripy carpet. And he's yeah. he's in the Premier Inn. Sure enough, Premier Inn. But, you know, double bed, TV, yeah. ironing board. I'm in this room just like, what are you doing here? Well, then fuck a prostitute. Oh, they look after you, like. You know. In the Premier Inn? Oh, yeah. That was nice. Uh, Boutique hotels will fuck you. Ah, shit. You know. It was shit. They threw one of fucking stuffed fox in there. I, I feel like there was something else going on. There was about there was about four or five Indian guys in the, in the I mean, that's a side note. Mm-hmm. But they had a lot. I mean, it, like they were. It wasn't a reception. It looked like they were sitting behind that. The way the boys were sitting, wires and bits and fucking multiple monitors and all. And I was like, is this like data harvesting or something? Like, what the fuck are you doing in here? <laughs> I like how you're like. There's something else going on. Four Indian lads. I knew something was up. Ah, but you know what the Indians are like. The stereotype has changed now. What? The, the Indian boys are the hacker programmers. Oh, why? I? I don't know what the fuck we're doing, man. The fucking wires and. <laughs> Two monitors and shit, and one guy sitting watching another guy do a thing. I was like, what the hell's going on here? You're the only guy actually staying in the hotel. They could have been, yeah, probably. Just multi-cam in the bedroom. And me spaffing left, right, and center. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I had time to spaff on this fucking trip. I know right enough that, because that's... I that's, love to spaff. That kind of fucks up your, uh, you know, whenever you land, such a hectic landing like that, and then you go straight into a gig, you baby, but... No, the landing was on the way home. Okay. But we were delayed for fucking forever. I saw the wipe you out too, so like. Big delay, flight... Obviously, getting into the center of London drive you fucking mad. Anyway, I did a gig. There's a guy Ivo Graham was on before me. Heard of him? Yes, posh guy. Yes, you know his show ran over, and he came in and was very apologetic. He's like, "I'm sorry, I ran, my show ran over. Sorry if it affects your show." And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> "I'm fucking here now." Uh, probably looked very threatening. But did a gig was lovely. Went for a couple of pints in Waxy O'Connor's. Nice, the least Irish bar of all time. Yeah. But that's London, you know what I mean? You pull the wool over their it's eyes. It's so loud in there. So loud with the worst music yeah, you've a, ever heard. Acoustic tunes, but it's like a guy singing a VJ. No, it wasn't even acoustic tune. There was a DJ playing, like, every day I'm hustling. And everyone's nice. like, man, I love the Irish. So Irish, yeah. yeah. Rick Ross doesn't get more Irish than us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, one of the guys, shout out their boy Sebastian, because the guy gave me a slagging, because he was like, I've written into the podcast a whole, a whole lot. And you've said my name wrong loads. Because he's Polish. How do you pronounce it? Kurtzak. Probably still wrong. Yeah. But it's all good. But uh, we went for the pints. He'll enjoy these. He will. Polish shit. Very nice. I like. <laughs> he's from Kirkstown. <laughs> Why well, he's Polish? I never <laughs> even got like a proper explanation from But that's Peter. a fucking American telling you that. These are so Polish. No, they're not. Well, he's Canadian and Polish. Whatever. Yeah. I'd love a, I'd love a Canadian Polish guy to meet a real fucking Polish person. Oh, I met a few at the wedding, and I tell you what, they are mental hooers. Yeah, yeah. They can drink. Oh, why? Well, that's all they do. Yeah. But anyway, we went for the drinks, and uh, your, your boy Sebastian was like, uh, "We're going for food here," and I was like, "I'll take some food." And we went for a full set down fancy Chinese. Nice. It was legit. And I, ca- I kept having this moment. Where I was looking at the watch, going, "Bro, it's fucking quarter to two in the morning." And he's like, more pork belly and the fucking wontons and the Sichuan sauce and yeah. all this here. I brought, would you didn't even talk? He was clocked out. He was like, that's all I could hear. And then he apologized. <laughs> would he apologize in the way that he was like, I'm sorry, hi, I don't even speak there. <laughs> he's like, I just fucking. Dude, I was in the wontons. I'm fucking balls deep in this. 
<laughs> it was great though. It's such a strange experience because it was proper, you know, like sit down, all blacked out in this place. Yeah, that's real, great. real fancy and real quick service and everything. Yeah. And me trying to fucking can't even use a knife and fork anymore. <laughs> Not on like a late night succulent Chinese meal. Huh? It was great. And it's it was fantastic. such a, it was a nice place. Like, so yeah. it didn't feel like, you know, if you got rode off and had like a big stinking kebab, like you did, right? I did that. But, you know, you, you had like nice, I had char si pork, bro. I had a hot and sour soup. You bougie bitch. Hot and sour soup, which came out of my asshole <laughs> on that, on that aborted landing the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Just hot and sour, immediately on impact. Yeah, <laughs> me trying to get that wee sick bag out. <laughs> Squat down on it. <laughs> That's the reality of a plane crash. You don't have time to do anything. I mean, if you're gonna go, <laughs> top five ways to go. I mean, you're, sure. you're not gonna be sitting there like, let me just ring my wife here. I love you so much. You, know, you just go, yeah, and then you're dead. <laughs> That's what happens. Now, if you know what's going down, like you have time to get one more snack from the stand or something, and be like, right. <laughs> Look at the land I love, and then fuck face is face going nuts and then Hi, yeah. If you any star cream and on <laughs> iron brown for catch please. <laughs> this is gonna be a rough one. Give us a Heineken two. I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> Still shit. Hi, can I get a? <laughs> <laughs> Just fill in your trunks. <laughs> Having a, if you ever are around a baby who violently shits its pants, if an adult Never had f- full diarrhea in their pants, it'd be loud. Yeah. You know, I don't think about anything quiet about it. I mean, I've had a few, like, you know, farts today where I'm like, there's a byproduct of that. Like, oh, yeah. I can't bet. Like, <laughs> I mean, weirdly, I'm scared to check. Weirdly, the first one was just like, <laughs> and then 10 seconds later I was like <coughs> I was my ass coughed at a stage it was rotten well you're on the protein milk you know what I mean I know bro protein hey I tell you what I fat lapsed hard this week yeah very hard I I didn't even bother weighing myself I, I couldn't even be honest I mean you weighed in in full fucking knight's armor yeah you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, you can't do stone weighed in like a PSNI officer <laughs> just fucking tactical jackets and <laughs> But yeah, I'll do it tomorrow morning. I'll get the reading on the phone screenshot. Yeah, I, I, I forgot all about it. I got hammered drunk on Monday. Had a kebab, you know. Had a pizza last night, and I still went down point eight. You know, scales don't lie. Uh-huh. So all, I don't know what the fuck's going on. all that dancing you're doing. That's what it is. You said you were too old for concerts now. Oh my god, sir! Like I, I, used I didn't to, argue with you. I used to go to a concert like that, and the next day I wouldn't take a flinch out of me. Flinch? Is it a flinch or a flinch? Flinch. Both wrong. But anyway. It wouldn't take it wouldn't take anything out of me. An inch? And then the next day the next day after this one, my fucking neck was fucked. My back was like a question mark. It was awful. Like I, uh, and the question is, what do you do with your life? I'm too old for the pits. That's what it is, bro. Do you know what got me was was your video, you fucking bashing teenagers out of the way. And you know what it was for me? The sweaty neck. I Hey, it was fucking warm in there. I know, but I don't know what it was. It was just, it was like all the hair separated into those wee spied <laughs> fringes, you know, at the back. Oh my! See, when I sweat, my hair does get spidey. Uh, <laughs> it does. It be soaking. It goes down four different directions. <laughs> He's like, the boys were sounding off and all had a pint with them after, and I was like, God only knows what what you were saying to these boys. Like, pars taxes? No, <laughs> I'm building the pars on taxes. If I was a rap group, we call Oma Belfast. Oma Belfast, aye. First bump, mate. That was a fun time, man. <coughs> you know, sure, we're trying to fucking finagle our way into going on Monday in Amsterdam. Who is? You oh, and me. Oh, I thought you said short. No. Uh, no, you can't take that man to fucking. <laughs> you have a murder in your hands. I know, I know, we're like you, on a whim just going, I can't wait. Do you think we should go to Amsterdam? Yeah. And giving everyone, everyone else fucking. <laughs> The best one is I, I, I rang him up and Maureen was in the background and he was like, you know, Maureen, can I go to Amsterdam? And she was like, yes, take him with you, fuck. Get him out. Oh, uh, she hates me. <laughs> hates me That's true a, love, though. Hates me being about. You know, true love is wanting to see the back end. <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your back end and then you'll see my back end leave. <laughs> to Amsterdam. To no doubt see more back ends. <laughs> Aye. Well, bananas going in them. Was the city, <laughs> the city of back ends. <laughs> the city of back ends and noodles. 
Weirdly good Asian food, not sure. Oh, there is that, that Thai place, Bird. You get a nice stroopwafel in the Tell middle. Of <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even go fuck the concert. I just go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Eat some waffles, have some pints. Because you said it's sold out, but there's tickets on Viagogo, and I was like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> don't worry about the tickets, bro. <laughs> well, sort it out. And by sort it out, I mean not go. Yeah. And just have. I, you know what I want to do? You know one of them like. Do you want to just get down on a wee table and you've got the wee frothy fucking Dutch beers and you're just like, ah, oh, snake. Yeah. You know, you're selling it. It's us fucking now. <sighs> I don't think we should gamble this time with the marijuana. I thought you were going to say, I don't think we should gamble this time. I'm done with the slots. I'm done with slots and slots. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think, I don't know. I mean, how stupid are we? Like, how many times have we to do it where... We realize this is not for us. I mean, if you're counting, probably about 47 for me. Yeah. And I've had yeah. three nice times. Mine is between four and seven, but uh, mind altering. Yeah. You know? Oh, see, when you freak out and wait, it's the worst. I know. think, I mean, I definitely have schizo brain. Mm. Where like, if I, if, do you know when you, you see someone, you're like, oh, fuck, he's pickled. That'd be me. Yeah. That'd be me after four months. Yeah. You would, I think, yeah. You're I'd like be. one bad trip away from fully cooking the goose. Oh man, I'd be fucking, Never going I'm back. booking flights to Palestine. <laughs> I'll help him. You know? <laughs> Thank God I'm wearing sunglasses. Nobody will take us seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I would do. I'd be, I think I would go full rabbit hole conspiracy guy. Uh, you know, I'm, right now I'm, you know, seeing enough to be like, listen, what's the point in getting too involved in any of this? Yeah. But if I smoke too much weed, I'd be pickled. Yeah. I'd be up all night, tinfoil hat. Did I tell you about the documentary? That a friend of ours who's a conspiracy theorist sent me, mm -hmm. and uh, Casey. Yep, and it was a fourteen-hour documentary into the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Fourteen hours, and it was made by some guy from Newcastle, uh -huh. and he like just assembled all the footage himself. It was like fourteen hours. It was split up into like eight parts on YouTube. What's the name? I, I can't remember. Because I mean, I've just started The Sopranos, but I would I would, <laughs> I would easily park it for uh, fourteen hours Sir, of conspiracy. I wouldn't watch a fourteen-hour documentary into the disappearance of my ma. Who's making that up now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you're busy with the podcast. We're shifting the schedule around and all. Would you have time to fit in a 14-hour documentary? <laughs> What's the ratio of footage used in a documentary to shot? Oh, it's like 1% or something? Yeah, yeah so you're talking like a 14-hour documentary. You'd have to shoot for fucking... <laughs> but the guy was three so, years so jolly to you. Like, I don't, wait, uh, no, wait, hey, where is she, Pat? One minute she's fucking asleep, next minute she's... I gone. watched like three minutes of it. And then I was like, I can't. How do you maintain interest in this? And then I watched the videos that them wee foods being made. <laughs> you ever watch them? I have a great time with them. What's wee foods? You know, like wee foods, like they make like a wee cottage pie. They make like a wee ball maze. Bro, uh, and then they get set a it, fucking... And then they set it on a wee table, you know? Man. And they have wee chairs. Man. And it's in a wee house. And they have wee <sighs> cutlery. Get off. Listen. Get a woman <laughs> and get a child. You think you don't want it, bro? But I've, you need hey, it. I've seen you watch forty-minute videos of Asian men reviewing watches. Don't chat to me. No, you haven't. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, you haven't. In Edinburgh, I've seen you watch watch videos. You're incorrect. Yeah, it was a forty-minute video of an Asian guy cleaning a watch. I right. get. <laughs> get. I was waiting for William Thompson to get out of bed and take a vape out of his asshole. <laughs> I was up for five hours every day before you got up and did anything. I don't like going to be way to watch these. They pop up in my time and I'm like, that is nice. I, I love the I love the, the contrast though of like, maybe you got like an hour and a half into the Madeline McCann one. You're like, ah, sure, she's fucking away anyway. What about this we for catch? <laughs> Do you ever watch them? Yeah. Delightful. Wee Foods, is that yeah. what it's called? Well, no, it's not called that. But it is wee foods. That's the best way to describe it to you. Like, hold on, bro. Imagine your ma raising you your whole life. She walks in that guest room and you're <laughs> on your side just watching fucking a guy make tiny sandwiches. She's probably like, I knew I shouldn't have had that last one. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna look up wee food. This is literally something I'd show Eddie. Bro, come on now. Look at that. Look at the mushrooms. Look at that wee sauce, bro. Huh? That's oh, real cowboy, that's not. <laughs> we cowboys. Look at that. What's that, Guanjella? 
I'm gonna the Wee Guan Chalet for you then. <laughs> yeah. Mini Carbonara. <laughs> That's the one. Mini this is, Carbonara. This is the nonsiest shit I've ever seen. This is literally like something I'd show Eddie to keep him still for two minutes. Mini... <laughs> <laughs> just watch porn like a fucking uh, normal adult and you hear carbonara too so i really hey. want to watch them with you oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like sir <certainly. laughs> look at that there so relaxing. Is that a quail egg? <laughs> Fuck you, you okay? <laughs> what, an egg? <laughs> Jesus, that egg's wild, you okay? <sighs> and what's it, what are you getting out of this? Well, you know, these ones are a lot longer than the one I usually see. Like, they're just like wee reels that pop up. I just go, ah, oh, that's nice. There we go. That's sort of in time now. Look at that. Gloopy. <laughs> yeah, that's quality view. No. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh god. What? Go on ahead. No, that's it. No, go on ahead. You gotta send to this mess. No. <laughs> you gotta send it. Put on the Chinese guys singing up the rap. Let's step this game up a bit, these boys. <laughs> Now we're cooking. This is what you watch in bed as an adult. Unmute it, you buck agent. Too big for me. What? <laughs> Too big. If it was we man, I'd love that. <laughs> we guys. We small guys. I have a couple of funny videos there. Uh, what else have we got there? I right, click that bottom one. This will this get us. This will get the boys cooking. All that gaping is making you look stretched out and rusty. If you're bottoming, you need an ass routine. You're getting pounded, nutted in. So take care of your ass. All that gaping is making you look. So that's just a friendly little reminder to if you're getting repeatedly fucked in the ass or bottomed, as she says. You gotta take care of it, you know. What was show with candles there? What was the crack there? A candle? Uh, it was. It was more of an exfoliating rub. Ah, you know, of course. Which would feel, I would imagine, a hectic for your velvet shoot. <laughs> Just a night rub. <laughs> Where'd you pull that out? <laughs> the, the velvet shoot. <laughs> the eighteen twenties, apparently. Here's <laughs> <laughs> anything but velvet. More like Velcro. Velcro and Nutella. <laughs> Well, imagine exfoliating <laughs> just right on your stink. Oh my like, god! Like just that sandy fucking like. Nah. <laughs> the only thing I'll ever put up my ass is pile cream, and it didn't work. So never again. You put it right up in. Mm. How'd you go about that? Like a button. Was it like the wee bullet, like a suppository thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What, pos like what position were you in when you did that? Just like <laughs> downward dog over the sink. <laughs> See where you lost your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you put stuff in your ass, isn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, that's heinous. Exfoliate your asshole. It's heinous. Yeah, <laughs> it is. In your heinous. <laughs> and it did nothing other than you know you're just doing basically a bird shit ten, yeah. ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect egg white omelet. Yeah. Twenty minutes later, oh <laughs> I'd love an egg white omelet. So would I. Protein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad! I just imagine you're doing this whole podcast with your eyes closed. <laughs> Protein. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I thought you were leaning for another fart there. No. <laughs> boys and lads, boys and lads are on themselves. Oh, there's one brain that wore. Oh, God, let me know. <laughs> have a good batch coming. Uh, the microphone already has herpes, so you might as well shit on it, too. When we're at it. It's not herpes. I haven't kissed enough women to have herpes. It's just gold sores. You have one, do you, piece of shit? Yours is just more concealed. That's That was like a wee spot. Yeah, yeah. Since right, we're getting right, real right, gross right. with it. <laughs> Kids are stinking. I, I, like... I'm convinced it's Eddie just like f- grabbing and fingering my face. Yeah. Stinking. I should use one of the 500 products that company sent me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I, what company? I can't, I don't want to say it out loud because they pulled the sponsorship. Oh, no. But they sent in an eye serum. Well, then fuck them. Well, they sent in an eye serum. It's supposed to take all your crow's feet away. Oh, God. Yeah. Imagine you just kept doing just that and then the rest of your face fell to shit, but your eyes were just fucking brand new. Yeah. Brand new. <laughs> you know? That'd be perfect. Like two old marbles just sitting on your head. That's what eyes are, essentially. You know what I mean? Wait, so it was a serum to get... What even is crow's feet? What is this condition? Smile. Oh, Jesus. Smile. It's bright. Let me wear them for a bit. Smile. Go on ahead. Smile. Like a big smile. I, I love this. The guy laughs fucking 90% of his waking day. Can I wear your glasses? Aye. Uh, and then you ask him to smile and he just goes... <laughs> you smile all day, bro. My fa- Bro, <laughs> what is on these? Vaseline? <laughs> Probably sun cream. We cooking a fucking <laughs> fried egg in this shit? Yeah, we won. Speaking of fried eggs, do you know how much I, do you know how much I spent? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I said a wee one. Oh, wee right. food. <laughs> yeah. No, wee food's gay. <laughs> watch, watch us. <laughs> we should eat some fucking wee food. Look at right. <laughs> that could be the dad. <laughs> The Nancy ASMR diet. So you look great in those. I know. I love it. I look like shit. <laughs> oh yeah, they fit me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look like I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take them into spec savers when you're done with them. Guys, you take us into. Oh yeah, bro. My final form. Every day I'm shuffling. What do I look like in these? Like I'm about to eat milk and cookies in a 14 year old house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want this cookie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It kind of suits you. I mean, with the shirt, that particular look looks all right. Yeah. Um, but if you were wearing if you were wearing your normal clothes, yeah, it might look slightly out of place. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna go in and get the laser eye, have them burn the fucking eyeballs out of me. Much has a laser eye set you back these days? Uh, laser eye surgery or an actual laser eye? <laughs> laser eye surgery. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I think it's probably about three thousand pounds. Ah, but you can't put a price on vision. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Tell us, Stevie Wonder. I'm you, surprised you haven't got laser eye. It's just that... With your general like, impatience. It's like... Well, that's the problem. To be like, fuck it. It's, it's everything. Uh, it's the contact and the organizing, the going for the initial appointment, going back. You know what? goes way down the list of priorities. Day yeah, day. that's true. Uh, you know, but the the, the, f- the fiber guy was in the day now. Nice. Nice. He came in. And he's like, hey, the house is off the road a bit. And I'm like, listen, get it in. Get that fucking fiber in my house so I can send a goddamn video to somebody. But that's the that's same with the laser eyes, same with everything. I was wondering what it's you fucking, meant by fiber. It's yeah. fucking nine. <laughs> fiber guy was in the day. We'll be shiting next week. There's fuck all in this house. <laughs> send in the uh, fiber, man. There's a guy who comes around with brown flakes every week. Right, lad? I'm from Fibrous. <laughs> I heard you've been bunged up. <laughs> the Fibre man and the Muck man. <laughs> here they, I mean, here they I so heard you've been bunged up. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I heard you've been bunged up, lad. Looking at shit. <laughs> bunged up's an old boy disease, isn't it? You never hear of a young fella saying I'm well bunged up. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I can't wait for the day where I've struggled to shout a bit. I'm all bunged up. Brave hiccups. Ooh. Jesus, I'm barring. I know. <laughs> It's the glasses. <laughs> wonder what that cream is right now. What? <laughs> it was on the glasses. <laughs> but how the, how's it not bothering you? That's what cracks me up. I don't know. You just fucking slap I just, I just say, oh, this is what sunglasses are. Creamy. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I egg up, bro? He takes them off like this every time. Oh, I'm going inside. <laughs> Hold my sunglasses. <laughs> I have the hiccups like a motherfucker. Hold on. Hiccups like a motherfucker. 
called the hiccup cast. Is it, you hold your breath and drink. Is that right? Aye. Uh, or I get scared. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Pull me, <laughs> pull me wee balls out. <laughs> you're the you're the most ogreous man to be getting into t- miniature things. <laughs> I know. I'd love you to make a video like that. You just big fucking fat hands all over. Watch them Oakley, sir. Aye, all right. They're not Oakley's. They fucking are. Don't worry. If I break them, I'll be straight on the pan to buy to get in you. Pair. I don't use that smut. No? Nah. No. You wouldn't even... Uh, I support Big Corp. Yeah, I support. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get it from China. I want to get it from Nike, who get it from China. And pay full whack. Know what I mean? <laughs> Any other crack? Sir, I'll tell you what. Go on ahead. I've been thinking, right? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Guys, we'll see you next week. <laughs> go ahead. I, I have my eyes fully closed, by the way. Now, go ahead. What have you been thinking about? What does your ideal Christmas look like? <laughs> <laughs> get, get married. Yeah. Will you? Doug. This is so you have no time to think about this. No. <laughs> Bunch of miniature fucking linguinis or whatever the fuck it is. Yes. And just sit there going, man, I'm going to watch Home Alone. Yes. Well, my ideal Christmas this year, get the extension finished, solve all the family arguments of who's going where and when, yes. and just go, everyone fucking come down here. Don't bring anything. Don't worry about it. I'm going to cook everything. Just, Aye. Just get pissed in the corner, and I'll just slap, and it'll be a slightly alternative Christmas. I'll be going, you're expecting a turkey? You're getting a brisket, bitch. Nice. You know what I mean? No one likes turkey anyway. Turkey is kind of shit. I like it in sandwiches and stuff, but, you know, it's too, it's boring. Yeah. Might make a chicken, take a chicken. On Christmas Day? Yeah. That's boring. I'm blasphemous. Bla- blasphemous? <laughs> uh, well, it's just a spicy chicken, isn't it? Yeah. You know? I think we need something to spice up Christmas there. Well, that's the same old shit. That's me trying to do it. Uh, <laughs> it is the same old shit, don't it? What's your ideal Christmas this year? What, what happens? Get all the fucking... I ain't got water. Actually come out my nose and I laughed at uh, What's my... Yeah, that'll be my ideal Christmas this year. You know, Eddie's having a lovely time. I'll buy him a toy that's mainly for me, you know? Would you ever fuck ah for Christmas? Mm-hmm. To foreign lands? Probably would, yeah. A lot of ones are doing that this year because they're in Australia and they can't afford to come home. Well, that's ideal because... I mean, like, you would be like... You see, some people think it's... Uh, you know, Maureen's very like, I like it when it's cold and cosy and you can get the fire on and we'll have a, a lovely dinner and all that shit. But you'd forget about it pretty quick. Yeah. If you were like on Bondi Beach. You'd be like, fuck Christmas. Being cosy is for women. Men can't get cosy. Well, it's a co- bad look. You're the cosy king. It's a bad look though. I don't like it. Sometimes I curl up with a blanket on the sofa and I'm like, if I ever walked on my father in this, I'd be embarrassed. Uh, you got to the owl boy it and just wear like a three piece suit till the minute you go to bed. You know what I'll never do though? You know what territory I'll never go into? Crocs? The snooty. Or the, what do you call it? The snuggy? Sn- yeah, well, that's fucking, that's mental. That's insane. That's mental. Like, if you're a grown ass man wearing that, it's insane. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be getting that cozy. Fucking monster munch pieces. If you're in the, f- ah, it's cr- full of crisps. Uh, the time Mickey told me about having to take the onesie off and empty the feet out of it. <laughs> Because it was one of the ones with feet in it that you had to take it off and empty the crisps out of it. That's fucking disgusting. Peg. You know? Wait, the traveling that did? To oh, get yeah, to the feet? It fell right down. <laughs> he had a foot. It wasn't even a onesie. It was a baby grow. He had. But I have to empty the feet of those. Like, imagine you in the Snuggie. Just all sweaty underneath it. Nah. Swe- sweaty hands, sweaty feet. Watching nah. your wee miniature fucking toasties. I get sweaty in shorts. Never yeah. met a Snuggie. Just in there blasting them farts inside it. They can't escape. <laughs> It'd be disgusting. <laughs> you know I me, mean? take it off at the end of the day and just a day's worth of farts comes out. Oh, why? Oh, there'd be some booth for that. Fart cap, you know what I mean? <laughs> be like when you first open a packet of ham. Oh. The ham, the ham quaff that gets you. Oh, it'll be a real shite of them. Just. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to go for a shite and you have to hug it all up and all. Just to get the ass out. You need a onesie. You know what you need? A twosie? You, <laughs> <laughs> you need a onesie with an ass flap on it. Oh, why? You know? I would then I'd never get out of it. Uh, you just poke if there was an ass flap, I'd never get out of it. Yeah, They'd just batten down the hatches. Never take it off. Shake and go back to the fucking stain around the edges. No, nah, can't go into snuggy territory. Nah. What's the coziest you get? So when it's cold, I do enjoy sleeping in a hoodie. 
right? Okay. That's that's when I get real cozy. Still pretty manly though. Like an ultimate ultimate coziness is if it's cold enough to wear like sweats and a hoodie to bed. And you get in and I put the hood up and I zip it up, you know, like fucking canny. Just, you know, because I got a cold head, baldy, you know. Do you ever sleep hood up? Oh, that's what I mean. Put the hood up, zip it up, get right in there. Yeah. Sleep. Yeah, that's nice. You know, that's as cozy as I get. That is nice. Yeah. But I don't, I don't like wearing hoodies to bed, though. That's all right. In you, general. You, you don't have to do it. I do not just... No. You're, you're, it's too informal for you? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, if it's not fucking... It's if not, it's not satin, it's, I'm not wearing it. <laughs> Jack, he's getting out of my fucking bag. It is such a hilarious uh, character trait to just have elite pajamas. Oh, why? That's crazy. I don't like it after my boy. I don't have any pajamas. The only pajamas I had were when Maureen. Did, oh, this is this is not an ideal Christmas. She got the whole the whole squad the same jammies. Oh, you know, that shit. Yeah, oh yeah. god. Where are the pecs? And like my cock was so proud. Like I was like, you know, not another you know, rolling around with a fucking hog, but it was like, that's my dick. Yeah. With a Christmas tree on it. No, neither of our cocks should be in satin. <laughs> it wasn't satin, it was just like we as Kieran would say, flouncies. <laughs> but everyone's running around all cute, getting the family photos and my, my family photo I'm like this here, I'm like no, you can't be walking around Christmas Day having plenty of cock. I'm just like, that's my bollocks right there. Sprites, you say? Aye, two of them. And a cocktail sausage. It was just fucking, it was just there, like. I saw a, a, a meme and it was like, uh, you know, oh, it's grey sweatpants season. Yeah. And it was like me and it was like a wee doorstop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the wee knob and grey sweatpants. I know, like, I seen a, someone did a diagram where they were like, here's the sweatpants. You know, you see a bulge. Like, say that was the bulge in the pants. And then they were like, that's probably the cock. That's probably the balls. Look at that, bro. A sunset <laughs> balls. Right, right. And then, they, and, then, and then they were like, and then... <laughs> And then they were like, no bulge, going like, oh, he's got no bulge. But then they were like, the cock goes way down here. So yeah, it, just, yeah. it just lies down straight. Because it's droopy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the way you give it wee balls, don't Wee pointy balls. <laughs> yeah, well, the balls are going to be small in comparison to the, the hog end. The looter. The looter. <laughs> the Christmas looter. <laughs> Sounds like a movie would be on Channel 4. <laughs> Up next, the Christmas looter. Narrated by David Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Do you know what's ah. absolutely lit soundtrack? The Gruffalo. Oh, nice. Bro, talk about fucking. Uh, if I was the alchemist <laughs> and the wee fucking. Ding, 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 I'd be like. <laughs> you know, over the top of it. Is it just silky, is it? It's just, it's that, it's just that love, yeah, lovely wee piano music. Yeah. But I was like, man, sticking out a beat. It's like a lo fi behind that shit. Yeah. What uh, is a kids movie you've watched without it that you actually enjoy? None of them. Nah. No, well he's 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 grown up a wee bit now, so we're more in the like Spider Man Mario tar nice. territory okay. where it's actually more exciting to watch. Yeah. But there is a there is a long period of I mean there's loads of memes about that. People going like, you know, I fucking match with someone on Tinder and I'm sitting there with a fucking eighteen month old watching dancing vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> Veggie Tales. Is that what's called? Yeah. It was yeah. a Christian cartoon as well. Was it? Yeah. Oh, that may be an old thing. This is, this is, this is, they've whittled it right down to what is going to just hypnotize a fucking baby. Yeah. And it's just fucking tomatoes in a circle. <laughs> and you're just sitting beside them like fucking, want to kill yourself? No, my nephew's been glued to the iPad. Yeah. Glued. I was trying to get out into the rugby there. Uh -huh. Ireland lost, didn't they? They did. Oh. Heartbreaking. Oh. God almighty. I watched the game in the pub and everything. Did you? Yep. Went who who a, were you with? Went for a 50-50. Who were you with? Short and the boys. What's a 50-50? <laughs> Steak Aye. and chicken Aye. and a whole heap of spuds. Nice. Yeah. Great. Still man's, still point it. man's still losing weight. Maybe you have an illness. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have a growth. <laughs> uh, but I that was heartbreaking. I, was, I, was fucking, I did a bit of drinking after that, to be fair. Yeah. yeah was, Started drinking? Aye. It's like fuck this shit, fucking here we go. Did you get drunk in the garage right now? But did I? Yeah, yeah. And then the whole, you know, the whole internet's on fire. Like, oh, these boys were hyped up too much, you know. But this is what's happening. The god, you know, that you lose by a small margin, you know. And then the other match, fucking France and South Africa. That was the next day, wasn't it? Lost by a point. Yeah, these matches are tight, man. Yeah. And England just sauntering clean through it. Who do you have to win it? England. I wouldn't be surprised if it was all black, all blacks now. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I think they might do it. I would, I would have said France just for the home advantage, but they're out now. You know, but I think because they, do you know what'd be nice? 
if it was like South Africa, New Zealand in the final, and then New Zealand lost to South Africa, and then Ireland could be like, sure, we already beat them. Aye. Don't worry about it. That's an ideal Christmas. Yes, that's an ideal Christmas. Yeah. Me doing the haka, serving up this <laughs> fucking take of chicken. <laughs> know what I mean? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm fucked today. <laughs> 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 I really am. <laughs> you said there was a wild pile of sluts in that vape shop the other day. I go to Luke Combs. Uh, that man's a dope magnet. A dope magnet? Aye. Uh, yeah. There was just a real array, like... There was a, a Mexican Dave giggling. Uh, there was a real array of just like women all going to Luke Combs. Well, there's hope for us all. There really is. Because he looks like every guy that would turn up to like one of my gigs. Yeah. You know, just fucking neckbeard and fat. What if we kissed the Luke Combs concert? Yeah. <laughs> Christ. And if it was at the bottom of my bed, I'd fucking throw the dude with the top myself <laughs> to go with Nile Fagan. <laughs> it's at the bottom of my bed. I'd pull the wire myself. <laughs> Luke Combs. Uh, it's My mad isn't a fan of this new wave country. Uh, aye, she's like you wouldn't know country. Nah, does she not like uh, jelly roll or whatever. Aye, she likes jelly roll enough. Oh, that's him covering fast car. That's fast car, by God. The kind of love we make. <laughs> Stinking, look, <like>, probably. <laughs> the kind of love we make. And then there's Once other I'm guy. finished with the sandwich. There's a whole wave of new country <laughs> That's that's. Hey, that's hey, Chat GPT, fucking write me a country song, <laughs> you know? Play it there a wee bit. I'm gonna get sued. Let the passion dig us to a higher place. Him on top of you. Burr. <laughs> you know? Lay you on those sheets and kiss you on the neck. Oh! You know, Throw you around the guest room. The guy just pulls his fucking stained jeans back up there. Yeah, nice. That's nice. I like when I do Cummins in my life. That's good. Yeah. Leave it in. But leave it in. Back to the rest of the dinner. Leave <laughs> His bed's probably got like fucking, you know, like buckskin on it, you know. That's an ideal Christmas. That's an ideal Christmas. I leave it in my wife. <laughs> on the satin sheets. Skating on the sheets. <laughs> There's a little wave of them New Age country boys. You got that Morgan Wallen fella too. Morgan Brown. <laughs> Last night you sucked my cousin off. Who's the gay one? Is there a gay one? Dixon Dallas. Huh? Dixon, is it Dixon Dallas? Or I bet he goes. Oh, he's Dixon. got the song about the boosie. He does. Get <laughs> Dixon Dallas. Dixon's butt. <laughs> it is fun. I mean, it's, I mean, you know, obviously, fucking, he gives a shit, but. uh it, it immediately sounds like parody if he was actually talking about gay love songs. Yeah. Isn't it? You yeah. Know? I think it's kind of badass. That's badass kind of badass. to be a country star and just make songs about gay sex. Yeah. Have all them. Lick you them. on the rim. <laughs> Sucking on your man tits. Pulling down those Wrangler jeans. <laughs> Spaffing in your hairy crack. <laughs> Then we both just get along like mates. Oh, you're me to cock. <laughs> Stretching out my stink. <laughs> On the kitchen sink. Then we watch the football. Because <laughs> we're dudes. <laughs> dudes are cool. <laughs> Jizz all on your beard. <laughs> Have a couple beers and be sound like fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Suck my meat and bar. Then we both work on a vintage car that we bought that we work on together because we're cool dudes doing cool shit. <laughs> oh, oh, busting. <laughs> busting to your box. Playing Xbox. Throwing ropes around the John beer. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us in the cab. Working my meaty slab. <laughs> <laughs> then we just watch the match and relax. While I blow you back out, <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> oh, oh, 
That's pretty gay, Kyle. That's, that's how Brokeback Mountain should have went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, mate. I love you. <laughs> I put this wee two man tent up if you want to fucking real quick. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That's the only place men should be fucking. In a, a tent. tent. <laughs> Both their feet hanging out the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, fucking hell. Class. Delirious. Bit of manly gay sex. That's the country artist I go to see live now. Yeah, dicks and boys. None of those Luke Combs talking about taking them to a higher place. Uh, there is something funny there. about, you know. I mean, he's one he's one of us, Luke Combs, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's a frumpy mess. He's just a regular old guy. But just getting sexy with it when you look like that. Yeah. Making love to my wife. Hard cut the reality. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I like to see a man with gut singing about making love. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. For, it's realistic. Yeah, fucking hell. Look, Combs. I'd probably go like Combs. Fucking Chris with his beard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you're saying is is clientele or hot chicks though? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I noticed that one time I went to a local bar and there was like some sort of country dance in the bar beside it. And then when it emptied out, they all came into this other bar and there was a lot of ret like young, young girls. <laughs> I mean, relatively speaking, like in their yeah, no, time, so, you know what I mean? But like dressed in that older school country look, mm. they all had like big Dolly Parton hair and all. Yes. And it was, it was doing it for me. Uh, it was doing for me. Like a bit of the part in there? I don't like it, but you know what I mean? It was an in- interesting shake-up in the, you know, in the visuals. We still have a photo of my boy and Dolly Parton in the house. Your right house? Right beside the siblings' wedding photos. Where did you get the photo taken? Well, it looked like Madame Tussauds, but it was actually her in real life. She's not far off a wax dummy. Like. She looks wax. <laughs> she looks wax, <laughs> man. <laughs> she looks wax. Her titties are wax. She's a good lad, Dolly Parton. She is. She does cool shit. She does. She, she has her own theme park and everything. Yeah, does she not like employ a load of people and pay them and they don't even work? Yeah, unreal. I'd go to the Dye Land for the crack. Oh, why? Of course you would. Of course you would get a couple of fucking shandies in you. Three thousand patrons special. The boys go to Dye Land. Listen, we've missed every milestone <laughs> on the way, so I don't know if three thousand is gonna make any more difference. You know? Oh, I'm supposed to grow a mullet. That's right. Mullet, belly button piercing. No, I can't do that. Why? You said that. I'd never agreed to that. I couldn't do it. Belly button piercing for me. I, even the thought of it turns me. But it's in a night, you know, you get it done, keep it for a day, take it out. I'd grow a mold for the cracker. Okay. You know? If we do a uh, bush, or what is it? Bushwalkers? It's not bushwalkers. Legion of Doom for Halloween. Yeah. You'll have to shave half your head. Yeah. Do that. Would you shave your head? No, I don't think I would. Why? Take all day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had that one win. Oh, fuck See, it. you set that up there. Hey, I'd bastard, did you? You got the ghillie suit on for that one, you bastard. <laughs> I love that phrase. No one knows what that means. The gil- two ghillie suits, that'd be fucking lethal. Yeah. Two of us just sitting here like two fucking bushes <laughs> talking. <laughs> just sitting here, just fully like two pounds of leaves. Legion of Doom would be class. <coughs> yeah. You know, a low budget uh, wrestler Halloween outfit would be like mankind. All he needs is a white shirt, cut the sleeves we, off, we could do the tie. We could do bushwhackers, no sweat. Yeah. Two vests. Yeah. Uh, I might do, who, should, who could I do? Stone Cold? Fat Stone yeah. Cold? Yeah. Get you the wee vest and all. Yeah. I'll shave a goatee. Yeah. <laughs> you should just do David Brent. <laughs> I'll lend you a jacket. You sit there going, hmm? Hmm? I could do David Brent no more. That'd yeah. actually be, I don't know if I could top that. <laughs> just two characters, just it doesn't make sense at all. I'll be Dr. Evil, you'll be David Brent. <laughs> Stone Cold's not a bad shit. Stone Cold isn't a bad shit. Yeah. Have you and Maureen ever done like a couple Halloween outfit? No, no, I don't think so. I remember doing like you know like a Jason from Halloween type thing, mm-hmm. and it was very brutal and realistic looking. And I was getting a couple of people swerving me in Derry one time. There was lava. I, I, I looked like I just murdered someone. Yeah, I did the Bronson thing. That was great. Yeah, Bronson when he does the face paint like a clown. We should do that again at Lavery's Halloween's man. Yeah, oh, right. like ham it up, get all the axe dress up. That's the thing. It's too professional now. It's just. A pro comedy night now. Yeah, but we should. We used to mix it up a bit, do silliness. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That'd be fun. Like, I went as a client that year. The blacked out. I think it was yeah, like my first pig. Okay. Best couple Halloween 
costumes ideas have you boys ever done uh joined halloween with your lady Just two. What about just man? Just two vampires. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> just yeah. exactly, exactly the same outfits, clothes. Just two bits of blood going down here. Ooh. <laughs> I like when I like when people go like scary, like it's supposed to be Halloween. You know, I hate when people do like cutesy bullshit. Uh, let me see who's this one. Pinocchio and Jim, Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> These two nonsense here. Uh, <laughs> Wonderbread NASCAR drivers. Nice. Uh, Captain Hook and Tinkerbell Nice Oh man you and a wee set of wings Be fucking 10 out of 10 Some fluttering Dr. Grant and Ellie Sattler from Jurassic Park Boring Boring shit I know what I'm going as The Black Little Mermaid There you go Blackface wig <laughs> Full full tail and all that shit But you don't see it because it's under the desk <laughs> Uh, Jack Skellington and Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. These take a lot of work. Um, yeah, if it's a lot of admin, why don't we go as ASAP Rocky and Rihanna? <laughs> Squid Games. Ah, right, there we go. Two fucking. Ra- you get that red suit from the rage room. Yeah, and um, we put on a fucking. You know, like, like a what do you call that thing? A sieve over your face. <laughs> Sarah Highland and Wells Adams as Taco, but oh, these are actual people. Uh, Forrest Gump and Jenny. Yeah, I'll slut. I could do Vince Vaughn, no bar. Just get the check shirt on me and just stand there, like, you know. Imagine, imagine doing that. Like, imagine being <laughs> out one night and someone's like, Who'd you come as? And you're like, Vince Vaughn. <laughs> oh, from what film? No, no, no. Just Vince Vaughn. He has this shirt and also hair. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, let me see if there's... I mean, some of these are terrible. Like, how niche is that? Ned and Chuck from Pushing Daisies. That's just a fucking fella. Oh, my God. These are boring as all fuck. Minions. Two minions would be good. There you go. Two big lumpy minions. <laughs> uh, I, I, we could do that. You'd make a good Gru. Gru? Yeah. I w- yes. You could be Gru. I could be a minion. Yeah. We'll get 14 litres of yellow paint for your head. We don't have to do anything, do you? No, no. Put a coat on. Put a coat on, all right. <laughs> it's worked out great. Same as Dr. Evil, you know, yeah. just put on a grey t-shirt. No effort whatsoever. One million dollars, you know. Awesome powers would be great. Yeah. You get And you have to do the whole thing with the fake teeth in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. Because that was the same time as whenever I took the fucking, what do you call it? Nicotine pouches? Uh, it was the same thing. You couldn't move your mouth at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put, a, put a post up on Patreon and see what the people want us to dress up. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Wrestlers, Minion and Gru, or Austin Powers. What's the worst, most insensitive... Uh, have you seen like any of those bad Halloween costumes? As in like ones that didn't age well? I did see, and I know it was all over the internet as well, but I seen a guy, and it, that this happened like a few years after, but I seen it at the time. A guy with the fucking Steve Irwin outfit with a stingray coming out of his chest, covered in blood. That's a lot. It was barely cold in the ground. Like. Yeah. I was like, man, that is ballsy. That's insensitive. That's insensitive. People uh, did do it, but it was a couple of years later. I've seen people go as like a Twin Towers and stuff like that before. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's very... Where do you see that? Trying to win Bastard Ass and Sally's. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you just like... People, every year, someone will dress up as something mad. Yeah. And it'll cause a storm on Twitter. Yeah. Like, would you, you know, fabricate like the boot of a car that opens? And you have a wee wig on, you're like, I'm Madeline McCann. Is that too soon? That'd be too soon. Go with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, could yeah. do that. Yeah. Just have a wee mushroom coming out of your fly. Jeff, Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein will actually probably be a very popular one this year. You think so? Yeah, Epstein and Dahmer I could see a lot of people doing this year. Dahmer? Yeah. Fat Dahmer. Dahmer could do. That's a good one. No, but we'll probably just do wrestlers, will we? Yeah, that'd be fun. I do like... No, let's do Austin Powers. Let's commit to it. Right. 
The Austin Powers. Right. Done. Sorted. I'll be Dr. Evil. Every- I, I, I got shave Eddie's head and he could be mini me. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Shave your child's head. Yeah. That's that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> Can't get the guy to get a normal haircut anyway, like, but you know, just fucking hold him down. Yeah. Like he's joined the Marines. Shave his fucking head. <laughs> that would be a quality photo though. Oh yeah, a lot of likes in that one. Oh, a lot, a lot of, of engagement. Good one for the algo. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, get the abuse the children. <laughs> Not really. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's just shaving the head. That's like. what people do. I've told you that before. I felt like putting up a photo of me and Eddie, and then just plugging dates under it. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it. Just me and Eddie, like big man turns four. Wife content, baby I'll content. Be in, in Liverpool and Manchester, you know. Yeah. Things like that there. What's your ID Leicester look like? important too. Huh? <laughs> What's your ID Leicester look like? <laughs> Couple of Gadbury's. Couple of Gadbury's. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Fuck off! Okay. Lure Aaron that cub. Huh? He needs bit. That's a nice way to end Oh, here, pause this. This is great. This is fucking Notorious B.I.G. And then they do it in a bunch of languages. Now, I don't know what mental state I was in when I watched this, but I was in tears. Just listening to how... <laughs> the German one is my personal favorite. Man, rap music and comedy loses all it's worth when it's not in English. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Notorious B.I.G. Arguably the best rapper of all time. But throw a bit of Dutch on him. Yeah, make him do it Tough. in fucking Norwegian. And you're like, but what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Notorious SH1T. <laughs> Bollocks. Oh, fuck. The, in the German one, he does go, toasty. Yeah. Sip champagne in them toasty. Champagne on a toast day is living. That's my ID, That's Leicester. That's big living. That's my, That's my ID, Leicester. Leicester. Get the Snuggie on. Toasty and a champagne. champagne toasty. Oh, fucking 10 out of 10. Out of the park. <laughs> out of the park. Right. Guys, get the fuck onto the Patreon. Let me tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to have 30, 30 episodes. It's fucking insane. 30 bonus episodes up on that Patreon. Yeah. Where else would you get it? Shut up, bitch. Get in there. Throw them all in, you? Throw them all in, you? Uh, it's. I mean, you know, what, you know what's great and nice? If you've been in there from the start. You're going week to week. Yeah. But you can get in there. You know, it's like it's like you're getting into a show after two seasons. Yeah. You can catch up. You can go fucking back and be like, here we go. Bang, 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 bang. Get it into you. It's a good time. Patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod. And that's it. Get on with Patreon. We'll see you over there. Cheers for joining us today, folks. We've had a lovely time. Look after yourselves now. Yeah. We're going to see if we can do anything about this man's herpes. <laughs> Sorry, we brought it up again. He's touching it. How, how did you say we got red herpes? Rub it with a tile? Nah, just destroy it. Just cut the lip off. With a tile? Just destroy it with a tile? <laughs> I hope you don't get any serious injuries. Ever. I've been shot. Have you a tile? Anybody with a cure, give me a shout. Aye. Any, any, any hers with cures? <laughs> uh, the, 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 do, the do herps? But you're stressed out, man. You're, you're, you're running yourself into the ground. Hello. You need a rest. Yeah. You need to get cozy. Yeah. Chill out for a minute in Amsterdam. <laughs> Smoke ourselves fucking schizophrenic. We should do that. Ah, uh, we should. We'll vlog it? Yeah. All right. Happy days. Right, folks, join us next week. Yeah, we'll be back with more filth and bits. Round the button check. <laughs> nice. Get out of it easy. Drop, 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 drop.